Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. I'm presenting this tutorial from Canada. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can use this Allegro ACS712, which is at 5, 20, and 30 ampere AC and DC current sensor using Arduino library that I've written. It goes directly to the load. We are getting the current using this line. It is still acceptable. This is now the 30 ampere version. Here the, the thermal camera. We will also measure AC current by connecting an AC load as well. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. This is ACS712 and it is offered at 5, 20, and 30 ampere AC and DC current measurement system. The module operates based on HAL effect. The current passes and there is a HAL effect sensor inside the chip which the current passes through and it generates or outputs a voltage. We are using Arduino, a microcontroller, to measure the voltage, do calculation and convert it to current so we can use it for our purpose. I've written library for Allegro current sensors, which covers majority of current sensors from Allegro. And we are going to use that for this purpose. This is the module. It has two terminals for the, uh, measuring the current. The load will be connected through this and it, it will pass us through this chip and exits. And using the Hall effect, we measure the current and the voltage is outputted from the middle pin. This is ground and that is VCC. We will be connecting this to 5 volts. That will be to ground of Arduino and the middle pin will be connected to any analog pin. In this case, I'm going to use analog zero where we will be reading when it is connected to power of 5 volts, this will turn on. The module is 31 millimeters by 13.1 millimeters by 13.7 millimeters and it weighs 3 grams. Let's have a look at the data sheet for ACS712. It is operating with 5 volts. It will work with AC and DC. This is the chip. We are using the module. As you can see, it has simple 5 volts on ground, and there is a filter pin, which there is a capacitor, and also there is a capacitor between 5 volts on the ground, and this is the output. The two pins, pin 1 and 2, is one terminal of current and 3 and 4 is the other one. So the current enters and exits from the chip. The module is offered in three versions. And as you can see at the model, we have 05B. So that is 05, that's 5 ampere. And then we have 20 ampere and then 30 ampere. The sensitivity depends on the amount of current. This can measure plus minus 5, which means you can put it in any direction, AC or DC, and you get 185 millivolts per ampere. At 20 ampere version, you get 100 millivolts per ampere. At a 30 uh, ampere version, you get 66 millivolts per ampere. And as you can see, the sensitivity is decreased as the current is increased. So for higher resolution and higher sensitivity, the 5 ampere version is a better option. Home voltage is 4.5 volts, the maximum it uh, can be 5.5 volts and uh, the typical voltage is 5 volts. The amount of current that it consumes is 10 milliampere. Operating temperature is from minus 40 to 85 degrees Celsius. The 5 ampere version performance characteristics. As you can see it goes from minus 5 to 5 for AC purpose. And here is the important characteristics. The minimum is 180, maximum is 190 millivolts per ampere and that causes a deviation or error, and the error is plus minus 1.5%. And for 20 ampere, the same way, as you can see, 1.5%, and at 30 ampere, also 1.5%. And here are some uh, characteristic performance for 5 ampere in one page. They have provided all these. As an, uh, for us, this is the most important one, as you can see the output voltage versus sense current. So this is the current and that's the output. As you can see, it is very linear. So that's what we are looking for. Accuracy of this module is divided into four areas where at zero ampere at 25 degrees, it has without temperature effect. 
as you can see, and uh, then we have a zero ampere at delta temperature, change in temperature, then we have some temperature effects, then we have at full scale at 25 degrees, which we go up to 5 ampere, it will have different without the temperature effect, and also full uh, scale current at delta temperature when the temperature changes. Affect our measurement, as you can see here, zero current output slope, uh, change in current, you see the delta or the difference in current from minus 40 to 25 degrees. The slope is millivolts per degree, per degree Celsius and also between the 25 to 150 it's being reduced significantly. Compensated and correct this. If a temperature sensor is attached to the module and is measured then you can modify this code and get very accurate value and adjust the calculation properly. I will provide you the link for this data sheet if you need to read it further. If you need a wiring diagram for this, it is available as part of my Arduino course at Udemy. If you want to learn Arduino, I have a bestseller course on Udemy where you can learn Arduino from ground up with hundreds of projects, all course material, library, codes, wiring diagram, everything available in one place. The link for my Arduino course is below this video in the description. In order to measure AC or DC current, we need to put the current meter, with, in this case this is our current meter, uh, in series with the load. So one of the wire from AC for example enters and the other exits, it goes to the load and the other wire will go directly to the load. This is for AC and if you are using DC, for example positive can enter to, ter to one terminal and it exits goes to the load and the negative also goes to the load. Or you can put the current sensor or your meter on the other wire, the positive goes directly to the load and the negative comes to the current sensor and connects to the load. This is the electronic load DL3031 and these are the two terminals that from the circuit will be connected in here and we will see the voltage here and the current. And here VCC is connected to 5 volts, the right pin ground is connected to the ground the middle pin, the V out or the output for, from the module is connected to analog zero. These two pins are connected to my load and power supply I've just shown you. First you have to download the library that I have written. You will be getting it as a zip file. Download it and save it in your computer. After that, click on sketch, include library, add the zip library and then point it to where you have saved it. For example, in this case, if, if it was in the download, go to download, this is the zip, click open, and after that, you can close your Arduino and open it, then go to file, examples, and scroll down until you see Robojax Allegro ACS current sensor and open this example number one. Allegro current, sen current reading number one and this will be the code that will be opened. These are the models as of March 2020 that it is supported. This is your model and you will select zero in the code which I'm going to show you and depending on your model select this number. So far we have 27 different type of Allegro current sensor. Here we define the pin, VN pin, where we can read the voltage, and then VCC. VCC is 5 volts, but I have measured my voltage, it was 5.04, so I try to put exact. And then the model, the, the model that I just shown you, for example, select the model and just type the number without anything else. So you need these three parameters. This is the library that I have included, part of the library, and then from this library class we are creating an object, we call it module, we call it RoboJax and then we pass the model in here and we pass the VN. This can be used also later on which I'm going to explain it. If you want to, if your voltage is different a little up and down you can put here comma and then put this VCC. You can put a comma and put the VCC here but if your voltage is 5 volts you don't need to put it you can remove it, it will work fine. Inside the setup we are initializing the serial monitor to display the text for us. When I click here, this text that you see is coming 
we're using this and at the lower corner if I click this is 9600 it must match otherwise you will not be able to see the text and this is just printing the text for us so inside the loop we are getting the current using this line robojax.getCurrent and comma 3 means with 3 decimal place these are just the text I put current and then if you need the average use robojax.getCurrent average and then put the number of iteration if I put here 30 it means get the average of 30 measurements so if you want to make it larger or smaller it's up to you so and then uh, comma 3 so this will print the text for us and here this will print the current as you can see this is 248 and it, it becomes 27 or something the average in this case if you want to do the debugging this is the debugging so it will display all the information related to this module that you have selected if I upload the code and open it I've increased the text let me stop it so you can see it says the version of this library the model that you have selected model 0 which is this 5 ampere and then it also gives you the sensitivity of the module the quotient voltage for the module and also where it is connected to pin 14 analog 0 is pin 14 and analog 1 is 15 and so forth so do not get confused and then the sense voltage for this current currently uh, it reads 2.889 volts and the current is calculated to be 2.01 ampere and the average of 30 reading is also 2.02 .02 ampere so this will help you to debug but once you're done you, you can just comment it and then use this one and then we have 115 uh, millisecond this is 1.5 second if you want you can reduce it to read faster Now here is the demonstration, this has been powered up, code is loaded, as you can see it shows the current is zero here. This is demonstration of 5 ampere version, the software that is coming with my Rigal electronic load. The two wires have been connected, I'm just opening the interface so you can see it a little larger. The average is around 37 milliampere and it is set to 2 ampere let me turn it on you will see the current here and also now the current shows 2 ampere with 20 milliampere or 40 milliampere up and down that is 1.5 percent if you do the calculation it is still acceptable now let me increase it to 3 ampere now it is 3 ampere and here it also shows 3 ampere and 25 milliampere 3.025 let me make it 4 ampere the average is about 36 or 25 milliampere more let me make it 5 amp that's the maximum it shows the voltage doesn't matter because if I increase the voltage still it doesn't make any difference here in terms of reading it is the same amount of current at 30 um, 31 volts or whatever so the current is still the same this is now the 30 ampere version this one number two so I have to update the, the model here upload the code
Now it is set at 5 ampere. Let me turn it on. So we are reading 5 ampere. Now let me increase it to 10 amp. Now 10 ampere is passing through this and we are reading 10 ampere very precise this is very precise so I'm comparing it to that let's go with 20 ampere I've entered 20 and click OK now 20 ampere is passing through this as you can see we are reading almost 150 milliampere difference now let's go 30 ampere now it is a 30 ampere and this is the Arduino uh, serial monitor that is producing the result there is a almost 2 ampere difference that's huge difference now this is heating up for 30 ampere this is not made for that this is a very bad design the ampere through this tiny terminals like this this is unacceptable this is very bad and also this path of PCB even if they have a double it should be like very thick PCB for 30 ampere to go and come that's why here I've connected the thermal camera I'm putting here the, the thermal camera and as you can see here at this point it shows 110 degrees it's very hot here is extension cable this will go to the wall and I will connect my load here but here at the middle I have disconnected at this point where I will connect the two wire to the sensor in here this is an AC 800 watt toaster I'm going to test it with this and I'm now connecting this toaster and we will be reading the current here this is the voltage at the moment and it shows 7.26 or 7.27 ampere there is a 40 watt and 7.26 ampere now the toaster is ready it is all connected as you can see it shows 37 milliampere average about 40 by the way this is a hundred iteration I've changed it to hundred and let me now turn this on so we are expecting 7.26 that we were reading before and as you can see it shows 7.1 or 6.8 and as you can see it is fluctuating but still if I stop this 6.8 6 6.3 6 even oh that's 7 between 7 and 6 it's 1 ampere fluctuation let's change this to 300 iteration so upload it now let's see now this was shut off so now this is better because we did 300 iteration now we are reading 6.5 ampere As you can see, this is also a little stable, 8.9 or 9 ampere. Now turned off. So this was the result that I just presented. The connection from this point to these uh, holes, the four holes, this, this is not enough. There should have been some kind of thick wire for 30 ampere we needed huge path like this should be four or five times up to this area to cover and be able to transfer the current 
That's why this is heating up. So if you want to fix it, perhaps you can solder a thick copper wire between these points and then at this point. So be careful and monitor the temperature of this all the time. And here is the development and evaluation board. As you can see, they have huge thick PCB for the connection. And if you want to see it from the top, this is how it looks. These are the screws for connecting it and these are the ground. So otherwise it will not be safe. This is sold on and this is $81 Canadian here at the bottom. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this Allegro ACS712 current sensor to measure AC and DC current. If you like this video and learned something, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe. Now let me demonstrate it. It has been connected. The module is powered up. Arduino is now printing some these random values because uh, you can see it prints the 0 point about 40 milliampere even there is no current so this is my virtual current uh, device which I have this interface I'm just increasing the size